It's Terry at D-Lab. I'm here working on a Testament 30 amplifier made here in Michigan by a fellow boutique amp builder. Uh, the person that bought the amp brought it over to me because he's had this inherent hum. So every time he turns the volume up over halfway, take a listen. There's midway. As you go up, it gets worse. Okay. So it's a little bit of 60 cycle hum. I've traced it down to what I think is a uh, inverter tube issue. Power supply and it's clean. But then the more I investigated, I found out that the uh, output transformer is not a match for the tubes that are in it. This amp runs a pair of KT66s. The output transformer is actually for a set of 6V6s. So I'm also guessing that what we're really hearing is the tubes draw an excessive current and mismatch to the output transformer. So what I'm going to do is attempt to replace this with some 6V6s, re-bias it, and we'll see what it sounds like then. Alright, let's take a little guided tour of the Testament 30 amp. You can see the maker's signature there. It's pretty basic, just volume tone, a couple switches, runs a uh, Weber power transformer and a Weber output transformer. Pair of uh, KT66s. Flipper underside there so you can see the construction. It looks like this turret board is from a matchless Spitfire. Appears to be that type of configuration. It's got diodes down there as rectifiers. Point to point wired. It's actually a, a decent build job. So uh, hopefully during my investigation we can figure out why it's got that hum. So I did give this amp my typical go through with a magnifying glass looking for bad connections and I did find quite a few bad connections. Resoldered them, thought maybe that was it, made no difference. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to put in the 6V6s, re-bias it, and we'll take another look at that hum level. Alright, so for a little comparison of noise levels, I've got the KT66s installed. I'll bring the volume up and you watch on the scope. Put the volume around three quarters of the way, okay? I'm at 0.1 volts per division. So we got about, you know, two divisions, two and a half divisions. So we'll call that 0.25 volts. Okay, so I'm going to kill it. And then I'll put in the 6V6s. And we will see what we get there for noise. Of course, the 6V6s are drawing completely different uh, screen and plate currents. So they're in. Bring her back up. I'm not going to touch any of the controls. So the 6V6s should be a better match for this output transformer. Here it comes. So now, it looks like it's about half the noise level, about 0.125 volts. But you see these little spikes in between? I think that's our diodes switching. So next step, I'm gonna take out the rectifier diodes and we're gonna put in a tube in its place. See so if you can get rid of that. Alright, Terry back with you after a couple hours of playing with this Testament amp. It is now running on a pair of 6V6s with a 5AR4 rectifier tube. I've got it on. Take the volume back up to the point where you heard the hum before. About midway. Very slight hum. Very much acceptable. Now let's uh, plug in a guitar. See what it sounds like, huh? Of course, I can't play. So 
except for the fact that I can't play guitar, I think it sounds pretty good. It's pretty quiet. Not bad at all for about an 18 watt amp now. I think it was actually an 18 watt before. Except the KT66s would just suck all your power away and you get nothing. So I'll give you an overview of the chassis. It's a huge thing. Alright, so here is the uh, new pair of 6V6s and the 5AR4 that I kind of had to strategically tuck in the side of the chassis, but there's plenty of room, luckily. And then uh, underside, there's the uh, rectifier socket back under there. And I left the diodes in there just for the fun of it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So this uh, boutique amp is up and running with a new set of 6V6s. It's a whole new amp. All right, well, here's that glass of wine that I'm known for. Anyway, as you can see, a lot of these hum problems with amps may not be, you know, the fact that your inverter tube's miswired or your heaters are misrouted in the amp. A lot of times it can be just the design was wrong. In this case, that's what it proved out to be. So in the next video, I'll get the owner here. We'll have him play it and see if he's happy with it now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See you again.